right so once you open i didn't want to show how you log in because it's very simple it's just put your username and password so now once you are logged in you are able to see this interface this dashboard it reviews a summary of everything that is happening behind the scene but currently you can see everything is zero 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 we want to start from scratch so what do we do we come here under setup this is the first thing to be done before anything else okay once you come over here number one is grade you have to add the grades number two is to add the grade duration number three is to add the months number four is to add the fees particulars once you are done with these four things you are ready or you are good to go okay so let's start with the first thing which is grade duration this one is just one item that you need to add and that's it for example our grade is just one year so we say the duration grade duration you click here and add you say it's one year and that's it you say save okay unless others we got different durations you can still put that from there you need to add grades and from there under grade if i say add grade okay before you add grade you need to add months months okay let's come to months and let's add the months here i already have these months from january to july so let me just demonstrate how you add the month you click in add month you say august august okay save you can say save and continue if you want to add more now from there we come to grades we want to add the grades so we say grade name grade rr then duration is one year month is the month of july and how much do they pay the amount that they pay so we can say for instance as an example grade r is pay sorry 1000 then the summary you can just leave it with like that then save and add another one then we say great r then duration one year then month is july 1000 and save and continue then we come to great one duration one year july we say maybe 2000 as an example then we add grade two and duration one and july and 2000 okay then don't make mistakes over here because it's going to subtract the wrong amount and it will be something bad okay so that's it if you have a document you can import here you can import let me click on import and show you the kind of files that you can import the formats you can import is csv excel tsv X, excel X, and json and yummy files remember you should have these fields in the file that you want to import id grade month amount payable year and date added for you to be able to add that one into the system so now you can choose x if you choose file you can choose excel here you can import so for now i don't want to do that so i let me just go back because i because i don't want to do that let me say add these particulars and from there i want to add for grade r first if you click on the handbag i can see the list of all grades grade r the month is july and amount payable you say for grade R 2022 and save continue then we also configure for grade R then the month of July payable amount is 1000 
then we come to grade R, grade one, I mean, then we add here, then 2000, here we say it's 2000, and 2022, the year, then we continue. So we come here under view site, we click this, we are back here. Now we want to begin to add students. So I want to add at least five students or four, then we see what will happen. Then you click under students here, you say add student, then maybe student number, I have a file that I have here, I just want to copy this student from student number, then I say here it is, then over here I say the student number, then this is the first name and this is the last name. So you can copy paste from another file. This is grade R. Then I say the month is July and not pay paid for now. And parents phone number random. And you can put the picture of the child so that you'll be able to identify the child by a picture. So I can choose to put this one. If I put this one, you'll see. Then over here, a January enrollment. The child was enrolled in January or the other month, which maybe they came mid-term or mid-year. You can put any over there. Then from there, we choose the gender, male or female. Then we say the child is active. If you say inactive, the child won't be active. Okay, you say register. So you see, the child is added here. Then we come to the second one. I just copy here. Then I come back here. Then I change the number. Okay. Then we put the last name over there, the grade. You can say this one is grade one because we want to see differences on how things are happening. Then over here, we can maintain all these things the same. We can change the photo to put this one. And you can say maybe this one is female. Then we say add. You see, this student has been registered with this student name, name and what, what, what. Then we go ahead, we add the other student. Here it is. And then we paste over here. We, we paste here. Okay. And these students are added once and for all. Then we choose grade, maybe grade two. And July, not paid, everything. If I don't leave this avatar, if I don't put the avatar, you see that it will put the school logo. And let's say this one is a male and add, okay. All right, then we say view the list. Here is our list. We've got one, two, three, four, five. And you can see from here the total is five. Okay. Now, let's do this. Uh, we're going to begin to add the school fees, but if you want to also export, you can also export. You see, this is the student we have printed the information about this child. So we have a list here, we can export individual students, we can click and edit the children information and continue over there. So that's it. We want to begin to do the very, very important thing, which is adding school fees. fees. So you come under add fees here, then from there. You can search a student either by name or surname or by grade or by their student number. So let me first by student number. Over here, I paste the student number. And if I search, this is the only child that comes out. I can search by name, paste the name over there. Okay, let me do it with an example of another. So uh, let me just refresh. Add the school fees, yeah. I can just say by this one, put the name over there, search. This is the only child that comes out. Then I say select the child. Then I say this child, okay, pays 2,000. They are in grade two. So we say maybe they are going to pay 1,400. And from there, we say the transaction code, we just put a random number paid by mother. And we say cash deposit, uh, cash paid. And we say add over here and you can see the amount is indicating however for the first time it 
because we are starting in the middle of the year it automatically accumulates this previous area we don't want that to happen so we come over here under edit and we say remove this to be zero we leave it as zero and then we say a hey, submit and you can see it's zero now and the amount paid is 1400 the balance left is 600 so that's how it works and from there you can say pay that is to say you come back to the list of children and maybe we want uh, this one which is in grade R. we select this one and we say maybe they have paid all the, the uh, money and we say and paid by mother we say cash submit and we come back to the previous area we want to clear that to be zero and at the same time this one has paid all so we update the payment the fees status to cleared and we update you see just like that from there we come and we say add we want to add another one and who can we choose over here we can say maybe uh, this one in grade one and we can say this one has paid this amount you can see that uh, the balance is 2000 they haven't paid anything we want to say this one paid maybe uh, 1000 then you can see we say transaction code and paid by father and it was bank deposit you can see that and that's it you can see over here this is their previous this is their previous area so we want to clear that to be zero and we come over here all right so this is what has happened so far this one has a credit of 1600 this one has zero okay the total fees taken right now if we come to fees transactions uh, we have got three transactions and if we come back home here on the home icon or click on this logo you see that we've got collected today which is 3400 and total for this month and everything but tomorrow because it will be another day it will be indicated to be zero and over here it will be indicated this one until the month ends it starts again to be zero and now we want to go and demonstrate on the expenses so we come here and the expenses we say maybe we have chosen to buy a new electric cable we say this is item number one and we say electric cable we write electric cable the cost was 200 rand and requested by we just say uh, highlight then the payment method was cash then a uh, permission granted by this person and we say paid by you see reason we just say reason and we say add expense then maybe we have expense number two is winter we say gas heater and it costed maybe 1475 and we say paid by everything we leave it like that the here we just say code the reason the reason we just say window and then we say add then from there when you come to ex, ex expenses here you see that we've got total expenses of this amount but we are going to still see them in the dashboard as well let's go to the assets because we have already bought those two things so we want to add them under our assets electric cable we say electric cable and as it's one item and the value was 200 and from there paid by cash and debt is 21 july today and we say add okay then we add another asset number two we say it's gas heater and it's a one item it was 1475 and then cash and add from there if you come to home right now you see that we've got all these things today's expenses tomorrow it will be zero because the day will be different next month it will be zero because the day the month will be different but the year will still accumulate over there and the overall and the assets you can see the total assets here the total number of students here the super users currently 
we have uh, it is indicating zero because we did not register this admin but you can register this admin and it will be indicating a uh, super user uh, one or whatever the number and here these are the graphs to show everything you can hover and see okay okay so that's it for this tutorial i think it's very very simple to use and you can easily do everything with the simplicity so that's it but i want to show you one last thing one more thing that is amazing about this system because these things financial things are sometimes sensitive so you if you come under audits here you see that everything that i have been doing have been recorded and nobody can change these things only the super admin have the permission to delete these things you see so everything has been recorded and it shows which user did what you can see here the you can see it saying user one add asset time you see everything the registration time of student expenses everything has been recorded so you have a trace pack of everything that happened and the days or the deaths when it happened you can also choose to add your children your students using here the back end here you can also come here or ever from the front end and add your stuff here and under settings here you can add uh, you can add under settings the school name established more to what what 